All right, guys, so today what we're going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Flex Hammer Drill and the Makita Hammer Drill. Now, both of these are awesome tools. They're both good. We're going to use five amp hour batteries for each of them. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but this channel's favorite tool to test out is the Hammer Drills. Each tool channel actually has its own special sort of like a speciality when it comes to what kind of tool that they test out. When it comes to this channel, I love to test out hammer drills. All right, so that is why I do them. That's why I, most of my stuff is hammer drills because these things are very powerful and I love testing out that power because the tests that I do are hardcore and they break chucks, they break motors. Brushed motors don't last long in this channel, so that's why almost every single video that you see is a brushless tool. And that's because my tests fry out brushed tools very quickly. All right, so, but let's go over the specs of these really quick and let's see how these actually do against each other. And we are also gonna do concrete. All right, so we will do the flex first test. In this video, each tool has one attempt to do it. I wanted to de actually declare a winner in this one. Because uh, 18650 cell battery, 18650 cell battery, 5 amp hour, 5 amp hour. Yeah, this one's 24 volt. The Makita is 18 volt, but what can you do? Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Oh, and turbo mode is on, by the way. Turbo mode is on. So let's do Makita next. It is on drill, it's on speed two. Battery is full. Right here is good. Ready? Go. Time. That might be enough space to do. All right, so next we are gonna do a one and a half inch speed bore. It is on drill, it's on speed two. Right here is good. This is, this is a big mamma jam, all right? This is a hard task to do. It is. All right, ready, go. Time. It is on drill, speed two. All right, ready, go. Time, never mind. I thought it would. I thought that would fail. All right, so next we have a four by six right here. We will be uh, driving through a one and a half inch uh, spade bit. Now I expect this to go uh, to sink all the way in, continue spinning, and then come out. It's on drill, speed two. Turbo mode is on. If it fails on turbo mode, I will redo it and turn turbo mode off. All right, so. Ready, go. Time, it did it. Makita is next. Same rules apply, it's on drill, speed two. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. Next, we're gonna drill out a three inch hole with Milwaukee's hole dozer. You guys see, I'm not sure if you can see that, three inches. Turbo mode's on, drill speed two. Right here is good. All right, now I gotta remember to ease in. Wait, I'm gonna redo that, I think it. I'm gonna redo that because I think I didn't tighten the chuck up enough. Right there is good. All right, so, ready, go. Time. All right, now, yep, I got enough room, perfect. Let's do Makita next, plenty of space. All right, so, ready, go. Time. 
time. That that one's smoking big time. You know what? I had I had this bit for about I'd say two years. I think for about, I had this bit for about a year and a half. I think it's time to replace it. But those are the results. I do not know who won. I don't find that out until I edit the video. guys really need to get this i highly recommend you guys get this this is model number p this is a ryobi p738 the power inflator this thing is awesome all right guys so the only thing we're going to do on the log is a four inch lag each and six six inch lag each now i cannot do anything more than a six because if this log is not that long as you can see a six inch is there's only a few more inches left and this this is a deep side so yeah, we're gonna do only do a four inch and six inch. We'll do a ten inch lag when I get uh, when I get a different log. But in this video, I think a four and a six is would be good. All right, so let's do the flex first. Right here is this is a dense area, so I want to actually do it right here since we're not doing anything bigger than a six. All right, so speed one is required. We will use turbo mode because uh, I think in the last test I turbo mode succeeded. I think so. Turbo mode will be on. All right, so, ready, go. Time. All right, so next is the Makita. All right, right here is good. All right, so, ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, so let's take flexes out. Ready, go. Time, you hear that wind up? That's, 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 that is awesome. Take out Makita's. Ready, go. Time, right here is good. All right, so, ready. Go. Oh. Snapped it. Did it do it though? It, oh. All right, I'll start the timer. I'll start the timer when I get a new socket. Just so you guys know, that was a Ryobi three quarter inch to a quarter inch hex adapter and it lasted one video. I do have a drill bit video coming up. Let's actually, let's, let's redo it. All right, so. Ready, go. I think that did it. Time, oh, no. Time. Yep, that's in there. Just around it, there, there's a ring around it from the socket that the socket actually drove into the wood, so it's actually flush. Right here is good for the Makita. All right, so, ready, go. Up, oh, it cut out. I am gonna fail that for the Makita. So the Makita, as you can see, Makita cut out, I'd say at three quarters of an inch. Just so we could take it out, let's see if Makita could finish it. Yep, it finished it. But I am going to fail that on the Makita. So let's take them out. Let's do the flex first. Ready? Go. Time. Ready? Go. Time. I'll stop the timer at the proper time. All right, guys, so as you can see right here, I have two holes, one here and one here. We are actually gonna use those as a pre-drill because we are gonna do a three-quarter inch hole with a Bosch bit. These only drilled out two holes each. As you can see, I got a hole, two holes right there and two holes right here. So yeah, so we are gonna drill out a pre-drilled hole with a three, uh, I think this is an eighth of an inch hole 
we're gonna drill that out with the three quarter inch. We will do flex first. Check the battery life at the end of this. It is on the hammer. Turbo mode is on. Ready? Go. Oh, my bad, my bad. Speed two. And let me do the same thing to this. Do that for a few seconds. All right, so those are about even. Speed two. We'll continue. Ready? Go. Whoa. Just pause the timer. I think it lost the bit. Continue. That's time now. My hand is hurting from that. Let's get a tidy to temperature reading right now. It can go a half inch more, I think. Yeah, it can go a half inch more. Let's continue. That's time. Temperature 109, 105, 116. Housing 97, 115 degrees. 115 degrees the flex got so let's do the makita next speed two it's on hammer feature hammer feature works right here all right so ready go Stop that, I gotta bring it back. Let's continue. Yeah, the flex, flex got that one big time. Flex got that one big time. Temperature of Makita is 98, 102, 100, 104, 103, 104 degrees Makita got. So the Makita actually ran a little bit cooler. That was on speed two, right? Yep, that was on speed two. But yeah, they both did it. I want to talk about the flex really quick now in their flex promo video i am wondering if they messed up and accidentally broadened their statement of you got the turbo obviously just the fastest most powerful hammer drill on the market because so far what i've what i've tested so far i haven't tested them all yet so far i've tested that flex is the fastest uh, hammer feature that I've uh, that I've tested since I bought this flex. All right, I still have a few more a few more tests to do, but when it comes to the hammer feature, flexes hammer features actually really good. 
Now, when it comes to their statement saying the fastest, most powerful hammer drill on the market, I think that they should have narrowed that down a little bit to fastest hammer feature on the market. Because so far, Flex, I, I don't even know what the results are between this, but I can tell you that Flex, Flex took the cake on that, on that concrete. So, so far, the only one that was actually neck to neck with, uh, with Flex when it comes to the concrete test was the new Ryobi HP PBLHM101. Now, this was only a few, like about two seconds behind. This destroyed the Milwaukee in the concrete test. I haven't done the, the DeWalt, Flex full, uh, DeWalt Flex Full Advantage or the DeWalt uh, 996 yet uh, when it comes to the concrete test, but that's coming soon. But so far, what I've tested, the, the new Ryobi HP and Flex are about the same when it comes to the hammer feature. Because of this, these two kept up with each other when the Milwaukee completely lost uh, the Milwaukee Fuel lost, and the Concrete majorly lost against the Flex. So yeah, but these two kept up with each other. So more videos coming, so please subscribe to the channel. And so yeah, this is what this channel does. This channel loves hammer drills. They love, ha this channel loves hammer drills, and that's what I test out the most. I want to seriously get the Makita 40 volt tools and see how they actually are. All right, for the Flex, this is model number FX1271T. It's a 24 volt system, two speed settings with a turbo. With turbo mode off, this go on speed one, it is 550 RPMs, and on speed two, it is 2000 RPMs. With turbo mode on, this it's so turbo mode is sort of like a speed three. This goes to 700 RPMs on speed one and 2500 RPMs on speed two. So, speed two, it is a 500 RPM increase. And on speed one, it is a 250 RPM increase. This has 40,000 beats per minute for the hammer feature. All right, so this is a 23, 24 point clutch, and it, it has its own separate transmission for hammer, drill, and screw. This is a half inch fully metal chuck, which is good. Uh, we will be using a five amp hour battery, and the battery is full. I love that display, the display is very good. Like I said, it's brushless turbo. This is the Flex, you can get this at Lowe's. I'll put the price in right now. All right, for the Makita, this is model number XPH14. Two speed settings on speed one, this goes to 550 RPM, and on speed two, it goes to 2100 RPM. The hammer feature goes up to 31,500 uh, beats per minute. 21 point clutch, plus two, which the plus two is drill and hammer. This has a half inch fully metal chuck. I love this design, the design is very compact, but there's a huge difference in battery size, as you can see. So it does put a major footprint uh, on your workspace, especially if you're holding this on a ladder. Yeah, there is a major weight difference between these two. All right, so I was told by many people that this does not replace the big one. I was told that this re replaces the mid-range tool. And so this is model number XPH12. If that's true, then this is a mid-range tool uh, compared to this one. I did do have a versus video on this, so I do not really know. They sort of acted the same, so if they're going to make another one uh, that replaces this one that is not a part of the 40 volt system, is uh, that's still in question. Uh, this does have a dual LED light underneath the chuck, and the f the Flex has a single LED light on the base. And if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.